I think the one thing that myself and a lot of other content creators really struggle with nowadays is organization. And if I've learned anything over the last couple of years is that proper organization and proper workflow is honestly one of the most important things when it comes to the post-production side of things. It can make a video that you're anticipating taking two to three days to edit. If you're properly organized and ready to go, you could probably pump that out within a day or day and a half if you're properly organized and ready to go. If you go into the post-production side of things all ready to go, you know where your best selects are, you've already picked out your best footage, editing can be an absolute breeze but if you go into it blindly not having organized much of your footage it can take a lot more time and really disrupt your workflow and at the end of the day your product may not be as strong as you originally wanted it to be if you're a content creator on the event side of things say you cover weddings sports or concerts you probably know what I'm talking about you get home from shooting a concert or a sports game and you're fired up because you know you shot some absolute banger footage but when you import it all into Premiere Pro you suddenly realize you have to comb through one to two hours of footage just to find three or four unbelievable shots that you know are in there somewhere, but you just don't know exactly where they are. And don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna go through all that footage at some point, but just knowing where your best shots are, even if it's one or two or three clips of footage that you know you're 100% gonna use at some point, just having easy access to them, being able to find them easier within your editing software is gonna make a world of a difference. And that's where today's topic, which is in-camera marking comes to play. So on the topic of organization and workflow, I wanna share with you guys my number one tip for organizing and marking your footage in camera just so when you go to edit, you know exactly where your best clips are. And hopefully this tip will save you a ton of time when you're in post-production. So what I mean by in-camera marking is giving yourself a method of being able to mark a clip in your camera efficiently and quickly as soon as it happens. So when you get to the editing process, you're able to quickly visually identify which clips are your best ones and using them right away. Now, a lot of high level professional cameras, mostly cinema cameras actually do have internal marking systems. But for a lot of people who are on the prosumer level of cameras, say like myself with the Sony a7S III, or if using a Canon R5 and a7 IV, you know, a lot of us don't have access to this level of internal marking. So this is just a method, and it's a really simple, easy method that I learned a couple years ago that kind of simulates this whole idea of internal camera marking and just lets you find those clips a little bit quicker. I wanna give a quick shout out to the person who I learned this from, I cannot claim it as my own. Uh, Tyson Hutchins originally made a video a little while ago on his YouTube channel talking about this in-camera marking system. If you guys don't know who Tyson is, he is the director of creative solutions over at Clemson University working in their athletic program. Unbelievable creative, running an unbelievable team down there. And he put up a video kind of similar to this a little while ago, and he's the first one where I heard about this in-camera marking system. So shout out to you, Tyson. If you're watching this, you saved me so many hours in front of the computer. I think the best way of explaining this to you guys is through an example. Say you're shooting a football game and you capture an unbelievable touchdown. And this is a clip that you know 100% you're gonna use in a future video. Once you're done recording the highlight, all you're gonna to wanna to do is take your camera, cover your lens with your hand, and capture one to two seconds of just black video. And once you've done that, it's done. Your clip, your highlight has already been marked in camera, and trust me, just by doing that one thing, it's gonna be a lot easier to find it when you're editing. Now, before you're just like, Juan, how does shooting the inside of your palm help you find your footage faster? Let me explain. So you finish shooting the game, you know you've marked two, three, or four clips that you know you wanna use, you dump all your footage and open up Premiere Pro. In Premiere, you're then gonna click icon view in order to see each thumbnail of each clip in your bin. That way, when you're scrolling down your footage, Anytime you see a black frame, you know that the clip before it is a highlight that you wanna use. And this works if you have one clip marked or several clip marks. It just gives you a quick visual representation of where your best clips are amongst that massive pile of footage that you shot at that concert or at that wedding or at that sports game. And this also really helps not just yourself, but say you give your footage to another editor to use, just let them know that anything before the black frames are the best moments and it makes their life incredibly easy as well. And it really is that easy. All you gotta do is just cover your lens and shoot a few frames of black. But there are a few things you can change up in order to kind of level up your marking system. I've kind of developed a tier system for marking and I'll explain what I mean. Say I'm shooting a basketball game. The first tier of marking I would use is covering the lens with my hand. And I would usually save that for any clip that I feel like could be good filler B-roll. Say an ISO of a player, an ISO of a coach, 
or a simple scoring plate. Nothing that'll wow you, but something that you probably could use down the road for filler footage. I'll just cover my lens and mark it that way. My second tier of marking is for highlights that are like an eight out of 10, like really good moments and really good highlights that'll find their way into my video one way or another. Say someone dunking, someone, you know, with a cool dribble move or, you know, a really good look at a three pointer. Instead of, you know, covering my lens with my hand, I'm gonna point my camera up towards the lights and get one to two frames of just the ceiling lights. That way, when I'm editing, I know any shot that comes before a frame of the ceiling lights is a really good highlight and one that I intended to use when I shot it in the first place. And my third and final tier for in-camera marking is reserved for the holy moments. These include people getting posterized. These include people hitting a clutch three-point buzzer beater. This includes any crazy celebrations by the bench or by a player. Any just unbelievable moment, I know 100% will make it into my final video. Instead of shooting the inside of my hand, instead of shooting the ceiling, I'm going to point my camera straight at the scoreboard and get a couple of seconds of just the scoreboard after capturing my highlight. And so when I'm editing, if I see any thumbnail with the scoreboard there, I know automatically that the clip before that is like a must use clip and was probably one of the, if not my best clip the entire night. And you can shoot the scoreboard as many times as you want. But for me, like these are reserved for the creme de la creme. So I only probably get one to two scoreboard clips each game, which are like my must use, my must see clips of that game or event. And just by using the system, it allows me to even further organize my footage without having to pull selects. I know where my okay shots are. I know where my great shots are. And I know where my best shots are just by quick glance at each little thumbnail in my editing program. And I, for one, know that content anxiety is a thing when you dump all your footage into your project and you realize you suddenly have to go through two hours worth of footage. It can be really stressful, but I think having a marking system like this just alleviates a little bit of that anxiety and stress, helps you find your clips, your best moments a little quicker and gets you into that mindset of editing a lot faster, effectively improving your workflow. I hope this tip helps you guys as much as it has helped me in the past. It's probably like, my most practical tip I could give any filmmaker, any videographer, and it has changed the way I not only shoot, but go into post-production and edit videos with. Truly just a game changer, and you might be wondering why you haven't done it from the start when you give it a try. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you like it down below. And if you guys are new here or you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. The red button is just down below and I would really appreciate it. If you guys try this trick out, if you guys come up with your own little marking system, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear how you guys are utilizing this. And that does it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.